Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. It is another beautiful day of life, another day to be grateful for everything we have in our lives. Today I woke up and I got a lot of messages from Spirit about being an empath and being a light worker, okay? And how you always give more and more and more and more of yourself to other individuals, right? And that's okay if you're working with clients because you're trying to clear their energies, especially if they're searching for that help uh, to ascend, to grow, to understand things. You want to do that for your client, right? But in personal relationships, you cannot do that, okay? In personal relationships, you need to have an individual that meets you halfway, both meeting each other at the center, okay? And and as an empath, you are going to attract, as an empath and light worker, individuals who need help in self-growing in different areas, right? But you don't want to attract those individuals into your personal relationships or into your personal um, space. You know why? Because you're going to be giving so much more of yourself and you're going to want to understand why isn't this individual meeting you halfway? Because you have attracted someone who needed so much help because of the light you're giving and because of you wanting to give help. This is the type of individual you have attracted, okay? So with your personal relationships, and I'm just talking about personal relationships, remember that if the individual is not meeting you halfway and that individual is not bringing you up like you bring them up and they're not giving themselves completely like you have given yourself completely, then you need to walk away and let that person grow, go. Let them go. Let them go wherever they need to go um, and let them heal them own selves because you already built a personal relationship with them and you do not want to continue in a personal relationship that all it does, it takes more and more from you and doesn't give you back Everything that you've been given to this person, okay? It's okay if you have an individual in your life that you come in and, and they're, they want to grow, but and they're with you, but they still need to meet you halfway. Or are you going to feel inadequate in this relationship? So with your personal relationship, stand your ground, stand in your own power, okay? And realize your self-worth. If you don't realize your self-worth and you always want to give more and more and more, this individual is going to keep on taking and taking and doing things that are hurting you for their own benefit, okay? Don't let that happen to you. Take off the rose-colored glasses, again, because we tend to use our rose-colored glasses because we always see the greatness and potential of an individual and what they can become, right? Because we're healers, we're light workers, we're empaths. That's what we see. We see the potential, the greatness that this individual can become. But guess what? In personal relationships, those rose-colored glasses need to come off. Because if you're going to let them in your own private area, closer to your energy, then you need to realize that they need to be giving you just as much as you're giving. Okay? Take off the rose-colored glasses. See the individual for who they are. And once you realize who they are, if they're not giving as much as you are, are giving, you need to stand your ground, stand in your power, and pull away. Okay, pull away from those individuals. Okay, no longer use your rose colored glasses to see the greatness or the potential in relationships that are going to be personal, but you can do it for your clients. Okay, stand your ground in paths and light workers, stand your ground and realize your greatness, and realize that there's going to be a lot of moths attracted to you as a butterfly with different light, as a butterfly that seems balanced. Okay, a butterfly who knows things, who see things, who feels energy. They want that light that you have, okay? But you need to stand your ground and attract light-minded, same frequency type of individuals. And if you do let someone in, let it be one that really wants to grow and is still giving you what you're putting in, okay? Love and light to you all. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.